ahead and open up this hardware. These are plastic clamp blocks that's going to grasp the, the hose uh, perfectly. So it's going to hug it, hold it in place without crushing it when we need to. And then we got our olive and then we have our barb here. So these two items, one, two, one, two, and three are going to be for the brake lever. This is for our rear caliper along with our three uh, O-rings right there. So next step is we're going to put our barb. So we have our barb, we have our olive, and we have our, um, I'm gonna call this a ferrule, like a ferrule bolt here. So, and then we have a rubber, the rubber cover gasket. So make sure everything goes in line. So rubber cover gasket is gonna go on first, because that's gonna be the first thing that we would slide off if we were disconnecting. And then we'll have our uh, ferrule sleeve, the bolt there. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide the olive on. In this case, Shimano gave us a brass olive. And then we have our barb, which is a brass barb right here. So this barb's gonna get, is hollow, how fluid goes through it. So we're gonna push that in. I'm gonna get it started, push it in as much as you can by finger. And then we're gonna go get those yellow blocks that they gave us. And I'm gonna get my, I like to use vice grips. So I have a small pair of vice grips and we're going to, we're gonna preset these. And you want it to, you want it to clamp pretty good. You want this to lock down pretty good. So that's set. Now we can split these up. So we're gonna hug it, we're gonna clamp down here. We wanna clamp low enough to allow this barb to go down and get recessed in. So you don't want the, to this to be up flush at the hose, tip of the hose, you wanna come down just a bit, allowing space for that barb to get to shoot down. So it's not gonna conflict with your these holding blocks. So squeeze there. Oh, that was a little light, gonna choke up on it. Okay, I like that there. Now the reason they give us these blocks here because we have to hold it tight and we have to pound this with something somewhat heavy to knock it in. Make sure you got all your parts in place. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this down. Make sure it's straight. Yeah, so the hose is actually, it is sliding a little bit. You have to readjust it. So as you can see, it, it does hold the hose pretty decent, but not so much where it's gonna crush the hose. So let's come back up a little bit. And just have maybe a mil or two to go, millimeter. You know, these pliers probably aren't gripping it <clears throat> the best. I'm gonna trade these needle nose vice grips for a different style. These guys can probably work a little bit. We got more of a flatter jaw. It's gonna put more pressure evenly. Just gotta knock this down just a little bit. And we're gonna go a little bit tighter. If you're careful, you can do this without dropping anything. All right, tap, tap, tap. There we go. So now the barb has made full flush contact with the tip of that hose and control open so we don't drop everything. So now we have barb, we have olive, and then we have our, our bolt that goes into the lever. And then we have a rubber cover once we're done. So all this is gonna go on. We're gonna shove this hose in real gently. Just kinda jiggle gently, push in. It, it should take up about a half inch or so. And then our bolt here. So our bolt's coming in, it's gonna push on that olive and we're gonna get this started by finger. Get at least two revolutions, that's good. So as we turn this bolt in, it's going to start to push and crush that uh, olive a little bit, which is gonna actually form a seal. If you ever work with uh, copper piping or water pipes, it's kind of the same idea. So let's cover that. <clears throat> so the torque setting for this is about five to seven Newton meters. Um, this is very important that this guy gets tight enough because we want to crush that washer so it kind of bulges and locks itself in there. Um, if it's not, if that bolt's not tight enough, when you go to squeeze this lever super hard and you're out on a ride, it could push, poof, blow this hose out and you could lose your fluid and you're going to lose your brake. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. This is eight mil. I'm just going to give it a few turns. It's going to get tough and then I'm going to get my torque wrench out here. So I'm using this little uh, TW5 Park tool, tool. I'm gonna set this to uh, just shy of seven Newton meters. And then that's an eight millimeter. It's a, I think it's called a crow's foot style of a type of socket. You should be able to pick this up. So this is gonna allow me to hook it to my torque wrench. Make sure you're going the correct direction. And it's a little bit awkward to use but get that on there and we're gonna start tightening. And with this one, you wanna turn very slowly. The head is going to pivot. It lets off the faintest click. It's not very loud, so you have to stop as soon as you hear or feel the pivot of that head. And I've gotta re-rotate this. It gets wound up, runs out of uh, movement. 
Okay, so the head just pivot, and I'm just double checking. Got pivot, that's good. That should be tight enough so I know this isn't gonna blow out. Of course, we're gonna do some tests before we ride, and you can slide your rubber boot all the way up. Boom, or you could leave it off. So as, you're, as we're testing, we can see if there's any drippage or leakage. So we got a nice little round curvature here, and we should have enough room down at the bottom bracket. <laughs> 